we are at the Hacienda Hideaway about to start on our next big project, the kitchen cabinets. For this kitchen, we decided to build our own cabinet boxes and then have custom doors and drawers made to fit. We chose this route because I wanted a specific look and layout that would require custom molding and appliance panels. So we needed a material that could easily be painted and hiring out full custom cabinetry is definitely not in the budget. I reached out to a company called New Cabinet Doors. They make doors for IKEA cabinet boxes, but they can also do custom sizes in several different styles and you can get them primed and ready to paint. I designed our kitchen layout in Adobe Illustrator, sent the mock-up over to New Cabinet Doors, who then gave us a list of all the door and drawer fronts needed. They also provided all the drawer boxes and the hardware, which made our job a lot easier. We've got a lot of cabinet boxes to build, so while Lucas does that, I'm gonna choose the paint colors and paint all the doors. is a big day at the Hacienda Hideaway because our cabinet paint samples have arrived. I'm gonna be using two different colors, a sage green for the wall cabinets and an ivory for the island that will coordinate with our backsplash tile and our countertops. So I went through a bunch of different paint cards and narrowed it down to 10 options. The winners are October Mist and Creamy White. Today is day one of door painting. Typically we set up a paint station in our garage and use a paint sprayer, but Lucas has taken over our garage to build the cabinets and the garage here is also full, so I'm just gonna paint them by hand right here in the great room. I tested out a bunch of different paint rollers and the Velour Roller and this concave foam roller were my favorites. And then I've also got my go-to rooster brush for detailed areas. The cabinet doors are pre-primed, so that's gonna save me a lot of time. I'm gonna be painting the back of the doors first. I'll do two coats and then flip them over and two coats on the front. So today we are starting the cabinet build. I have to build 12 boxes for the kitchen and I'm going to be using 3 quarter inch birch cabinet grade plywood for it. We are building frameless cabinet boxes with full overlay doors. It's the simplest and most straightforward way and will give us the cleanest look. Now that all the wood is cut, I am applying this birch edge banding to the rough edge to give us a smooth surface. We are using our Craig jig to drill the pocket holes from the outside of the cabinet panel so you don't see them. Okay, the cabinets are built. Now it's time to install them. We built a base using two by fours and then added half inch plywood on top so they'll have a nice level platform to sit on.
of the cabinets are installed. Now we're working on the side panels and trim. I went with vertical shiplap for the sides. It just adds a nice subtle detail. As you can see, we added it on the island as well. And this will just be painted the same color as the cabinets. And these pieces here will go above the top cabinets up against the ceiling on both sides. You can see Lucas had to notch out a section to fit perfectly around the beam. Let's talk about these toe kicks. We came up with this curved shape, traced it onto one by six poplar wood and cut it out with a jigsaw. And we secured two pieces together with wood glue and clamps to make them extra thick. We've got the toe kicks installed and painted, and today we are working on the drawer boxes. We're also using this Craig drawer slide jig, which should help to make installation quick and easy. We were able to order the drawer boxes from new cabinet doors, and they came ready to install with Loom drawer slides, which is the best kind out there. They're soft close and they glide super smooth. Today we are installing the drawer fronts and we're using this cabinet hardware jig which will help us line up the holes perfectly every time. One of the finishing touches for this cabinet build is this drip rail. I made it out of one by three oak, and I cut it down to size, rounded out the edges, and then we stained it and sealed it. This rail will help protect the cabinet doors below the sink from dripping water. We are in the final stages of our cabinet install. We have the countertops in, the backsplash is in, the panel-ready fridge is in place. Now we just need to get the dishwasher and the range in. And here we are, four months after we started building the cabinets. There's still a few projects left to do in this kitchen, but the cabinets are done and we are so happy with the way they turned out. For this being my first time building kitchen cabinets, I think it went pretty well. It was definitely a labor of love, but I have a lot more confidence next time that I do this. I will say I was definitely nervous going into this because all the details I wanted to add, like the custom toe kicks and the cover panels, and of course the 16th inch reveal that left absolutely no room for error. But I'm so proud of this guy for working so hard to make sure everything looked perfect, especially considering you didn't even own a drill when we first met. That is true. <laughs> You've come a long way. Oh, <laughs> So there is hope for anyone out there just starting out. It just takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of patience, and maybe a desire to learn. And having the right tools. Yes, that helps. 
but you can certainly save a lot of money by building your own cabinets or refacing your existing ones with new doors. So once this kitchen's done, hopefully in a few more weeks, I'll post a before and after reveal video here on YouTube, so stay tuned.